the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friend. Job chapter 42 verse 10 A pitiful, sickly, and self-centered kind of prayer and a determined effort and selfish desire to be right with God are never found in the New Testament. The fact that I am trying to be right with God is actually a sign that I am rebelling against the atonement by the cross of Christ. I pray, Lord, I will purify my heart if you will answer my prayer. I will walk rightly before you if you will help me. But I cannot make myself right with God. I cannot make my life perfect. I can only be right with God if I accept the atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ as an absolute gift. Am I humble enough to accept it? I have to surrender all my rights and demands and cease from every self-effort. I must leave myself completely alone in His hands. And then I can begin to pour my life out in the priestly work of intercession. There is a great deal of prayer that comes from actual disbelief in the atonement. Jesus is not beginning to save us. He has already saved us completely. It is an accomplished fact and it is an insult to him for us to ask him to do what he has already done. If you are not now receiving the hundredfold which Jesus promised. See Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. And not getting insight into God's word, then start praying for your friends. Enter into the ministry of the inner life. The Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. As a saved soul, the real business of your life is intercessory prayer. Whatever circumstances God may place you in, always pray immediately that his atonement may be recognized and as fully understood in the lives of others as it has been in yours. Pray for your friends now and pray for those with whom you come in contact now.